we will explain the Brigil SPFC converter as the basis for the switching power supply. The conventional switching power supply has the configuration as shown in the figure. Recently improved efficiency in the switching power supply has been in demand in terms of energy saving and environmental protection and the circuits have been improved with the focus on DC-DC converters. As a result of the improvement, a great effect cannot be obtained from only the DC-DC converter section, and now, the input rectification stage is the focus of further improvement. This is the block diagram of the input rectification stage of the AC-DC converter. The proportion of the loss in this stage will be as shown in the figure when considered separately for bridge rectifier. PFC diode, MOSFET, and other parts, coil, wiring, etc. The bridge rectifier, which has been overlooked in past accounts for about 40% of the loss in this part. By improving this loss, improvement in efficiency of 1% to 2% can be expected for the entire AC DC converter. This value for the power supply with its entire efficiency exceeding 90% cannot be ignored. The bridge LS PFC is adopted as an improvement method. First, we will explain the conventional PFC. The AC current input to the PFC circuit flows through different routes depending on whether it is in the positive half-line cycle, red, or negative half-line cycle, green. We will explain the operation in the positive half-line cycle. In the conventional PFC, the input AC is full wave rectified by the diode bridge and the rectified DC is switched by Q1. When Q1 is on, the voltage is applied to both ends of L. At this point, energy accumulates in L. Even if Q1 is turned off, current flowing in L continues to flow, which turns on D5 to charge C. This transfers the energy accumulated in L to C, which generally increases the voltage to about 380 volts. The same operation is operated through a different route in the negative cycle. This is the bridge LS PFC. As with the conventional boost PFC, the current flows through different routes depending on whether it is in the positive or negative half-line cycle. We will explain it in the positive half-line cycle. AC current input flows through L and then is switched at MOSFET Q1. When the switch is on, the current flows through the route indicated by red lines which accumulates energy in L. When the switch is off, L continues to flow the current, thus turning on D1 to charge C. This operation boosts the voltage to 380 volts. For the conventional PFC, the current flows through five diodes. Two diodes when MOSFET is on and three diodes when MOSFET is off. For a bridge PFC, the current flows through only three diodes, one at on and two at off. In the bridge LS PFC, it can be seen that conduction loss for two diodes can be reduced. Conduction loss is also reduced in the negative half-line cycle, which improves the efficiency by about 1% to 2% for the entire power supply. The problem in the bridge LS PFC circuit is the high EMI. This is caused by relation between AC input and DC output. First, we will explain the relation in the conventional PFC circuit. Q1 is on in positive half-line cycle. The input lowest voltage is on the lower terminal and ground of DC output is also on the lower terminal. The current flows as shown by the red line. Therefore, it is understood that the ground level of the output voltage is fixed to the lowest voltage of the input through the diode D4. The output ground is also fixed to the lowest voltage of the input through D4 when Q1 is off. In the negative half-line cycle, the input lowest voltage is on the upper terminal. The output ground is fixed to the lowest voltage through D2 in the same way as the positive half-line cycle. Thus, for a conventional PFC, the lowest voltage of AC input and the ground of DC output are fixed at all time. In contrast, for a bridge LS PFC, the lowest voltage of AC input and the ground of DC output is fixed through the body diode Q2 in the positive half-line cycle, but is not fixed 
in the negative half-line cycle. Therefore, the potential between the input ground and output ground is pulsatile by MOSFET switching, which causes the discharge and charge of parasitic capacitance between the AC input and the output ground to increase EMI. To avoid this problem, diodes are added. Although the routes of main current in both positive and negative half-line cycles are the same as those of the conventional PFC, adding diodes causes a very small current to flow along the routes shown by the dotted line, respectively. This will fix the ground of the DC output and the lowest voltage of the AC input. As a result, EMI is improved. This circuit is called the semi bridge SPFC. We provide the reference design of the power supply for the 1.6 kW server, which adopts Bridgel SPFC. Also refer to it. This completes the explanation of the Bridgel SPFC converter.